super excited to welcome you guys back to Don's Graphics where in today's tutorial we shall be looking at how you can use your eraser tool to blend your images on pixel app okay so we usually know that to blend images on pixel app you need the fading effect to do so but in today's tutorial i will be bringing to you another awesome way that you can use to blend your images on pixel app stress free without any stress at all given that sometimes to create the, the fading effect can sometimes be troublesome but then i will be showing you very easy and simple way to do so to blend your images with the help of the eraser tool this eraser tool on pixel app so stay with me to the very end as i will be revealing to you all of this in a while from now okay guys welcome back to the channel and before we dive into how you can use your eraser tool to blend images i want us to first of all see the first way which i believe all of us know though some people came in the comment section and were like saying they still face problem with the fading effect that is why we are going to start with how you can create the gradient or the fading effect to blend your images then we'll conclude by looking at the eraser tool on pixel art this eraser tool how you can use the eraser tool to you know uh, blend your images with your background so let's begin first of all with the uh the first one which is actually how you can use the fading effect then we will see the eraser tool in the second part of this tutorial so watch closely to the very end and if you are joining us for the first time please subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so that you are not left out with important videos like this are released like the tutorial so that youtube can also push it to a much wider viewer base thank you guys so 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 very much so let's begin without any waste of time so i'm going to delete this text since we don't even need it today then i will go to bring in an image so i'm going to bring in an image that all of us are going to see how to uh, blend this image with the background now as you can see we have this image with me here um, let's go change the background color into something much more different let's give it this color and as you can see the image is somehow hanging what do i mean by hanging i mean if you look at the base of this image here you will see that it is not fading it is not blend, blended with our background which makes your design work distorted because when you design and the images are hanging like this it won't be nice okay so let's see the first basic way that you can blend this image on pixel app so the first thing that you can do to blend this image is just to go to shape then you choose a shape a square shape like this and change the dimension of the shape to look now as though it is a rectangle then you can place it like this and you look down here to the shape editing option where you will see you will find something called gradient all you need to do is just to proceed and click on gradient then what you are going to do is to click now on on the plus button okay click on the plus button as you can see we have a number of gradients here but we don't want to work on it yet we want to uh, create our own gradient that will be fading so we need to click on this plus button now to do the editing for the fading so this is a color and this is a color that is why we call this a gradient because a gradient is actually the combination of two or more colors then up here you have the various gradient patterns that you can use we shall see all of that so the first thing that we're going to do is just to click here okay click here and we're going to also click here on this color or icon so let's go and change it now we're going to reduce the opacity of this completely to the left end make sure it is completely here then what you are going to do is to click ok and let's check on the various gradient pattern this is hori this is a horizontal uh, vertical pattern pattern sorry where the uh, whiter the whiter color that we have removed its opacity is up and the thicker one is down so this is just okay but then you have other kinds of patterns let me just change it up here and you will see how it is changing can you see 
but we don't need all of this all that we need is this vertical pattern that is actually the second one here so what are you going to do now just click ok and uh, you can even send it up a bit if you find it difficult to get to where the image is as you can see the image is right up here all you need to do is to click back again on the plus button to set it to further so we are going to shift this a little more up to make it look balanced can you see now then you can even push this up a bit and what you are going to do now is to click on your check mark up here so just click on the check mark to proceed and the last thing that you are going to do with this is just to go to color now uh, change the color and give it the same color like the background can't you see now awesome our image is faded with the background so this is the first way the first technique that you can use on pixel lab to blend your images with the background if you don't want to use this method oh stay cool i'm going to show you now the second step the second technique that you will use in order to blend your images on pixel app so easy and that will be through the eraser button so many of us still find difficulties using the eraser button on pixel app relax take some cup of coffee of coffee and i will definitely be showing you how you can use the eraser tool on pixel app let's get started so i'm going to go to layer now and delete the shape the faded, uh, the faded gradient that we created i just want to delete it and maintain this image to its original so as you can see it is not it is no longer blended with a background so how do we blend it now using a razor so all you need to do is to click on the image make sure that you are on the image then you go to where you have your eraser button and right here i have my eraser button i'm just going to click on it and once you click on it this is the eraser uh, button on pixel or the eraser uh, tool on your pixel app and how do you use it let me first of all start by showing you how the eraser tool functions so this is what we call the size of your eraser then this is how smooth you want your eraser to be if you want it to be smooth you increase it and this is the length of your eraser it's like your pencil that you hold on your hand on your finger how long do you want it to be and any mistake that you do while erasing you can always undo it from this button okay the other options i will be showing you after so let's start how do you uh, blend this image with the background you can increase the size of your eraser a bit then you increase the blurness or the smoothness completely to 100 okay you increase it completely to this end then we can increase the size of the length of our eraser a bit and as you can see we have our eraser here so just come down here to the point where you want to use it so let's reduce the length of the eraser a bit and make it just like this then what you are going to do is carefully erase the portion that you want to blend with your background so i'm going to carefully erase it for example if i make an error now i erase for example here an error how do i undo this error simply go and click on the undo button and the error will be corrected so as you can see the error has been correct, uh, corrected and what i'm going to do is just to erase the downer section of this image so that it can allow me to blend the image with our background once you are satisfied with this all you need to do is to click on your check mark just click on the check mark here to continue so we are going to click on the check mark now and as you can see somehow the image has been blended with our background and this just looks so so awesome so this is another technique another simple way that you can blend images on your pixel lab without using the fading effect i hope you've all learned one or two things in this particular tutorial for today if you did so please give a thumbs up to the tutorial drop your comments on what you think and share the tutorial like it so that youtube can push it to other broad-based uh, viewers across thank you guys so much for watching our tutorial for today i hope to be seeing you in other episodes and if you find any difficulty on this particular tutorial drop your comment telling us where you have that difficulty and surely we will adjust it we hope to see you next time when we bring more amazing tutorials until then stay blessed and god bless you